Time square. Time sphere. Time triangle. Time tetrahedron. Time. For another episode of In a Handful of Minutes. Oh, wow. Ooh, look out. You know, you go through life, and there are things you figure everybody knows about. Things that if you were ever to do a web video about them, you'd get a lot of, yeah, 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 we already know, thanks buddy, comments and emails. But much to my surprise, I have encountered a great deal of people lately who aren't familiar with this week's topic, and so I'm going to do my own special part to try and contribute to awareness of this lovely thing. Now, if, say, you were thinking about uh, growing up to become a madman who is bent on pushing his own big theory and has acquired a little bit of fame by doing so, then you could do a lot worse than to pay attention to this week's review of Time Cube Theory and the blustery old fellow behind it. American Gene Ray first composed the Time Cube Theory and put it online way back in 1997, in the days when you still had to go out and dig up your morning internet from the earth using a trowel. It's one of those theory-of-everything theories, and I think the main concept is best explained by a direct quotation from the man himself. When the sun shines upon Earth, two major time points are created on opposite sides of Earth, known as midday and midnight. Where the two major time forces join, synergy creates two new minor time points we recognize as sun-up and sun-down. The four equidistant time points can be considered as time square, imprinted upon the circle of Earth. In a single rotation of the Earth's sphere, each time corner point rotates through the other three corner time points, thus creating 16 corners, 96 hours, and four simultaneous 24-hour days within a single rotation of Earth, equated to a higher order of lifetime cube. Now I know that may have sounded like I missed some letters and words, but that's just how Gene Ray writes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to compete in the world of cranks, then it's not enough to simply have a theory that tries to explain everything away by merit of the Earth being a cube. You'll want to write in giant lettering that flows in a single lengthy column where the colors can change at any time, and poor old grammar is left to wonder what it did to make you hurt it so. If anybody challenges your ideas, then you could take a note from Jean by coming up with a clever, insulting label to apply to them. Jean also had the idea to try and gain legitimacy by offering a cash reward to any scientist or other educated man who could disprove time theory in a debate with him. Now. Nobody's actually taking him up on this offer, so surely that proves that time cube theory is correct, right? I mean, nobody's ever taken me up on my offer to challenge me to debate over whether or not Santa Claus lives in China, so... Now, there's a whole lot more to the time cube theory than what I've quoted here, but frankly what I've quoted was the most coherent. There's also a whole bunch of stuff about being born cubed, about how a lot of basic fundamental mathematical principles are incorrect, uh, about how Time Cube has the solution to nuclear waste problems, and many, many more. Sadly, it's now a little bit more difficult to take the old boy lightly, as he's recently updated his theories with madness of the more traditional anti-gay, anti-Semitic, anti-everybody-who-doesn't-look-like-me variety. Even as a joke, I cannot recommend that any of you take up this line of thinking, not even to win a bet. But much the same ways, you can still learn a lot about horror writing by reading H.P. Lovecraft and not internalizing any of his outmoded ideas on people who eat different sandwiches than him, you can still gain a lot of amusement and insight into how a crazed madman's mind works by reading the website of Gene Ray. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go perfect my time rube theory. Oh, the time rube is all right, I guess. Me? I prefer time rubs. Yeah, maybe a little bit of salt, lemongrass, you name it. Put it on your favorite meat, favorite web show, favorite narrator. That's a wink. I didn't see that. <coughs> the problem with audio. In a single rotation of the Earth spear, spear, Britney Spears, sorry, in 1997, back when you had to go back, into, uh, back when you back, 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 back to the future. Sadly, it's now a bit more difficult to take the old boy lightly, as he's updated his theories with some madness of the old trash and variety, of the old fur... I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as how my theory on why Santa Claus lives in China is correct, because I fucked up the line. I wouldn't recommend these to anybody, even as a joke. Even to win a bet. Fuck. Alright, alright. <clears throat>